Alright guys, this is a video on how to uh, do pastor mode on your uh, BGW210. I forgot you guys can see me. Um, but when you uh, get to the main screen here, this is what the main screen looks like. You just type this IP address into your web browser, 192.168.1.254. Uh, it's on the side of the modem. Uh, the AT&T modem gateway router, wh whatever you want to call it, it's an all-in-one. Uh, but when sh um, I would suggest being hardwired when you connect to this. Uh, right now, I just have the modem plugged in. There's no internet. So, uh, and then once you hardwire your device, like your laptop or your PC, I would plug in your own router because you want to do this if you want to use your own router. Um, like me, I built my own router using PFSense. So in order to get a WAN IP address to your router so you're not double natted, uh, this is what you have to do. So you click on, uh, this is the main page, like I said, this will it'll bring you up when you type in this IP. You click on firewall, and then normally it'll ask for a device access code. Um, I've already done it on here, but the device access code, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's on the side there, on the side of the modem. I don't know how good that camera is. Along, along with this IP address right here. So once you click on firewall, you just click on IP pass through. And then what you do is you uh, switch allocation mode to pass through because you're passing through your WAN IP address. Now you can still use AT&T's. Um, Ethernet ports on the back, it's just it'll assign it a LAN IP address from its DHCP server. So I would suggest if you're using your own uh, router, just plug all your stuff into your router. Because when you do this pass through, like I said, it'll get a LAN IP address. You won't be double netted. It'll act just like a regular modem. You know, no router built in. So next setting is pass through mode. You want to click on DHCP fixed. And if you don't know what any of these are, it tells you what each one is over here. Uh, we'll see here. These pass-through mode, location. Uh, but once you click on DHCP fixed, you choose from the list. So in my case, I only got my laptop hooked up. So you'd have whatever device you're using, your desktop, your laptop. And then you have another device here. You just plug it into, you know, AT&T's modem. And you click on that other device. And what that will do is, it'll refresh the page and it'll cause the MAC address to be pasted into here. And then all you have to do is hit save. And what that will do is, um, it'll assign that device a WAN, I a WAN IP address, whatever the WAN IP address is. So I think if I hit home here, and it loads, I should be able to see uh, status on Ethernet, Adam's laptop. Now, the reason why I have a local IP address right now is because I don't have any internet. The This modem is not actually hooked up to nothing except for my laptop. So, once you do actually have internet, it'll switch from a local IP address to a WAN IP address. Because if you click back on firewall and then go back to the IP pass through, fixed manual that has the MAC address of my laptop and then essentially what you can do with the Wi-Fi since you're using your own router and I'm assuming if you're using your own router it's a router router Wi-Fi combo like cheap thing or um, you have just a router like me PFSense and then you have your your own access points but anyways, you click on modify your Wi-Fi security or settings over there on the right. And then I'll have 2.4 gigahertz radio, 5 gigahertz radio. What you do is you just click on off for 2.4. And then you hit save. Hit continue, you know, warn you, blah, blah, blah. And then you have to do the same thing for 5 gigahertz radio. Let it load, click on off. This is why I suggest you be hardwired. Hit save, continue, 
and now this thing's not putting out any Wi-Fi. So the only thing you can use on it now is the Ethernet ports on the back of it, and since you're going to have your own router plugged in, you just have one cable. It going straight from AT&T modem to your own router. And that should um, bypass AT&T's stupid fire, uh, the firewall that's built into here. Because you're going to get a WAN IP address that bypasses all that. Um, but if you wanted to turn off the firewall, you just click there and then go to Firewall Advanced, and you'd turn all these off. But you don't have to do that. But this is just a quick video on how to turn, uh, how to do pass-through mode, and so you're not double and added, so you can use your own router with uh, AT&T's uh, modem router all-in-one combo thing. And like I said, this if you once you do it, you won't have a LAN IP address because you guys will actually have you know your modem hooked up to something. <laughs> But uh, other than that, I hope you guys uh, like and subscribe and see you in the next one.